Apple releases iOS 13.5 and Apatos 13.5. Here's everything that is new. Apple has rolled out a new software update for iPhones and i. Apple has rolled out a new software update for iPhones and iPads today. The company has released iOS 13.5 and Apatos 13.5 almost a month after the launch of the last public software update. The biggest feature of the latest operating system update is the exposure notifications that the company has co-created with Google for allowing apps made by local health authorities to create contact tracing apps. Further, this update makes it easier for users to unlock their iPhones and iPads with a mask on which has kind of become the need of the hour. If the device detects that the user is wearing a mask, the passcode field gets automatically presented after swiping up from the bottom of the lock screen. This is also applicable for authentication purposes that rely on FACI.The latest OS update also brings control over the automatic enlargement of tiles in a group FaceTime call. Till now, in a group FaceTime call, the tile of the person who is speaking is automatically enlarged, but now users will be able to control that through a new automatic prominence option in the settings apps FaceTime section. Next, there is now an option to share medical ID information with emergency dispatchers if in case a user has to place an emergency call. Also, there is an option to place all the medical ID info on the lock screen when an iPhone is locked. Apple Music users get an option to directly share songs to Instagram stories. This story will show information about the song such as song title, album name, and animated background, at .as for the bug fixes, the iOS 13.5 and Apatos 13.5 updates come with two major fixes. First, it fixes an issue where users may see a black screen when trying to play streaming video from some websites and second, it addresses an issue in the share sheet where suggestions and actions may not load.